Actually, my wife is already use her 5G, 5G signal to drive her laptop. Let's see if I can do something bigger than that to drive my whole router. So what I got here is a iPhone, old iPhone, but it is jailbreaked so that it can tether unlimitedly. And uh, let me get my extra SIM card. And uh, plug into this old phone. Let me find my tether app and open the hotspot sharing and uh, I got this TP-Link uh, extender and it got a Ethernet, so I will use this TP-Link extender to wirelessly catch the hotspot on my T-Mobile LTE and then use the Ethernet to connect to my router there so that I will ultimately use the LTE to join my router and uh, provide the home internet. I probably need to reset this stuff or um So I connect the extender to the power source and I uh, use my cell phone to configure it. And I can find this extender. No internet as expected. I choose manage router and uh, okay, it says welcome to, to something. Create a password. Now, this is the uh, important part. You see all this. SSID of the Wi-Fi signals I can or the extender can pick up at this point and uh, I will choose my LTE iPhone and enter this password that on my hotspot and on the 5G side I don't have anything because it's a 4 2.4 gigahertz so Let's skip this one. Before that, I have a 2.4 gigahertz one. Confirm. And uh, my new network ID. Okay. Reboot into connect settings. So in this set now, 
The extender itself is working like a Wi-Fi router and uh, spread out the Wi-Fi signal, but I don't want all my devices to connect to this one and uh, have to reset all the password again. So I will connect my main router to to this extender. So my devices look it's still connected to the router. Here we can see there is a device connected. What should I do? I probably need to unplug this and plug this. That's, that's what it wants me to do. Okay. Okay, let's try it. I unplug this and plug it in. It's connected again. And uh, all the solid signals are on. Next is to, to connect this one. This is the connecting cable to my router and uh, we'll connect it to my extender and the extender is connected to my LTE cell phone. So. Okay. Now my internet is back on again. And uh, let's see what's my internet. You see this uh, IP address is an external one and uh, I believe it's a T-Mobile stuff. And uh, although it's drive to a um, It's connected to a wireless service, so I don't expect the connection speed or something will be ideal, but... With that happening, let's discuss next. But even the video is work, so not too bad. Your house brought you together. Like, really together. Next, I will see if I can move my move my iPhone to the more closer to the window so it I so I can get a better connection. I will also want to grab my charger so that I don't run out of the battery. This used to be my the place I used to hold the cell phone but There is one more test I want to do is the speed test with a wireless connection and uh, let's give it one. The previous one is 7 megabyte, but now I connect it to some devices so I don't think it may or may not be that good. It's a wireless LTE anyway, so I don't expect it can be very good, especially now I don't have the 5G available pretty much in my area so and it's a Friday night ah oh, it's slow so So it's getting the same iPod address and uh, I run speed test on this. Yeah, similarly, not bad at all. And if I connect this into 
here like I did last time it will I, all my home Wi-Fi will be working from here to my home device it won't know the incoming internet is from Comcast or it's a LTE they cannot tell the difference my inside devices all right Wi-Fi on the hotspot on my cell phone with my LT and uh, yeah I will try to connect this one to here so it's using my Samsung LT okay Let's redo this process. And I will need to reset this one. And this extender, I believe. Yeah, this Samsung 10 nanometer is my my LTE, another LTE one. So I will try to use this connect to a Samsung 10 nanometer. Not showing up. Okay, extender is here. And it gets the uh, address and I will go to the home setting and give it a password. Let's do the setup and uh, let's connect it to the Samsung 10 nanometer rather than my iPhone and uh, let me put the password five G. I don't have anything, so skip confirm next. This could well be working now. Let's run on speed test. Huh, very poor speed. I, I know because the team mobile is doing something on the um, phone, so it knows it's sharing our Wi Fi. And uh, it's kind of control the speed when it knows you are open a hotspot. However, if you can somehow cheat the phone, like uh, by a jailbreak or something, and the T-Mobile don't know you are, you are kind of, uh, you know, um, open a hotspot, then you can get a very good speed. <laughs> 